In this week's lab, I have you cat up a curved beam with a rectangular cross section and expose it to different loads. We're doing this so that we have a nice visual representation of the stress distribution in a curved beam, and also so that we can compare the hand calculations to what we would get from a numeric simulation. In this case, I am showing a beam with a rectangular cross section, and I said it was three centimeters on one side, two centimeters on the other, and the centroid of that beam is in the geometric center of it. You can see the load here that I have applied. It's a shear load on this face. On the opposite face, I have a constraint. This shear load is applied at the centroid of the cross section. On the distance from that centroid of the cross section to the center of curvature of the beam is eight centimeters. If we inspect this arch, it's pretty obvious that the maximum moment is going to occur at the midpoint at the peak of the arch. And so we're going to take a cut plane section through that, and we are going to look at that section. And then we can use a point probe, measure the stresses at the top and the bottom, and compare those stresses to what we get doing hand calculations. So I'm going to go ahead and create a point probe, and I'm going to look at the top of the beam is in compression, and it's minus about 35 MPa. And the bottom of the beam is in tension, and it is on the order of 40. MPA. Those are the numbers we would use to compare to our hand calculations.